I wanted to briefly go over Multilink BPP, which from a configuration standpoint doesn't differ all that much from, let's say, configuring Ether channels on Ethernet interfaces. However, in this case, of course, we are using Serial and the Multilink or the PPP protocol. So what is Multilink PPP? You basically combine multiple serial links together and fragments are then sent over multiple links, as you can read here. And at the opposite end, in this case router 2, the fragments will be reassembled and we will have a traffic pattern. So one, one thing you see all the time when configuring uh, or looking up multi-link PPP is this interleaving. So this interleaving is not required for multi-link PPP to function. However, it is uh, mostly used for real-time packets. So if there's some kind of voice application, a voice stream going over these interfaces with interleaving, we can uh, interleave these small, these large packets and have them be MLPP encapsulated. So they can be fragmented into a small enough size to satisfy delay requirements. That's basically all it does. So for my network, I have two routers. They have two serial connections and a common subnet, which I'm going to configure. So let's get started on that. I'm doing most of this stuff in Notepad, and I did a show IP interface brief. So you can see that there is actually nothing besides the loopback and my management interface configured here. So when you're configuring multilink PPP, the first thing that you want to do is actually create the multilink interface. This is different than, let's say, configuring Ether channels, where you just go into each and every interface with a range command and then set the uh, channel group. But right now we're just creating a multilink, not a tunnel, a multilink interface. I'm just going to call it one, and I'm also setting. I'll do that later. So uh, I just leave it out, and I'm. It's great, great, immediately going to exit out again. And then I'm going to go on my first serial interface and do a no shut. And then I'm saying encapsulation PPP because remember we do need PPP encapsulation for this function and the default is HDLC on Cisco routers. I'm also going to set here a PPP multilink and PPP multilink group 1. So this associates this interface with the actual multi-link interface. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing for 011 and I'm just going to paste this in and see what happens. So let's paste it in on router 1. So if I do a show IP interface brief we will see that we have this multi-link interface over here which is right now unset, down, and down. Remember, with serial interface, the opposite side needs to be online for this function. It's not like Ethernet. If I do show PPP multilink, I will get this um, bundle, and I will see my own local members, and I will see that the bundle is actually inactive. If I show interface multilink 1, we can see that the encapsulation on this multilink interface is PPP by default, but you can't put that in there if you want to. So in order for this to function, we actually need to enable the other side. So let me go and paste the exact same thing in on router 2. So we can see that our serials came online and then our actual multi-link interface came online. So we can see that it used to be LCP closed, and now it is LCP open, multilink open. So if I do show PPP multilink, we can see that our local endpoint discriminator is actually the host name of this router, and the remote endpoint discriminator is router2. And we can see that router2 chose to be the actual name of the bundle. One of these routers is the name of the bundle. So it all seems to be working just fine. Let's see if I actually get CDP packets over there. So that seems to be working. So also notice that our CDP for these serial interfaces has disappeared. We have just CDP for this multilink interface. If I do a show IP interface multilink, one I won't get anything because I haven't added an IP address in there yet. So before I do that, let me go back in my multilink interface and look at the other PPP multilink options. So the one that I wanted to talk about was this interleave. So to enable it you just do PPP multilink 
inner leaf. And if I look right here, we can see that there is no line with inner leaf over here. If I put this in, if I do show PVP multilink, we can see that interleaving is actually disabled if you put this command in. So I haven't experimented with that much, but this is basically the command to enable it. And of course, we need to set it on both sides. Let me go on my multilink. I was still in this area. Multilink one and ppp multilink interleave so there we go so to assign an ip address to this in, to these interfaces is ex exactly the same thing so ip address 10.0.12.1 and router 1 and 2 on router 2 so if i try to reach that address we will see that it's, it's just one hop away. And it doesn't uh, show two, two trace hops or something, it just shows one hop. So if I wanted to reach myself with serial, of course, it will first go to the neighbor and then back to myself. This is different than Ethernet, where I can just ping and trace myself in one hop. So that's basically all there is to uh, enabling multi-link PPP. I hope this has been informative. Thank you.